as uh, the Corbin Lady Red Hounds still have not returned yet. And uh, Angel, uh, in between our last game in this one, uh, well, during the boys' game, Kyla Stidham was uh, was selected as this year's homecoming queen. Wow. How about that? That yeah. is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And Shelby Stewart became the all-time leading scorer for the Corbin Lady Red Hounds. In, 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 in Corbin High School history score. for Corbin, for the girls. She, really? she uh, passed uh, Jury Good. Do you remember Jury? I played with Jury. There you go. Yes. There you go. So, uh, yeah, I did, you know, when they said that she had broken the record, I thought, I was trying to think, well, who, who was the leading scorer? Who held the record before? And I really wasn't sure. You know, because I, I know, like, uh, Kareen Wells had a good career and, and, and did a lot of scoring. Uh, but Jury, Jury Gooden was the all-time leading scorer. Yes. How many did she have? Do you know? <laughs> no. We'll have to look that up. It was 2,000, you know, like five, 2,500 and some. But uh, so yeah, she's I should have brought that, that yeah, up. She passed that up the other night. And so uh, they're going to award her a, a basketball tonight before this game starts. And that'll be that's kind of a neat thing. That you is. Know, that's really to neat. Be, uh, to be able to sit there and say, well, I'm the, you know, at least when I graduated, I was the all-time leading scorer in, in wow. school To history. be the one that someone has to beat. That's yeah. right. That's right. So everybody has to point to Shelby Stewart and say, "That's she holds the record I'd wow. like to catch. That's really awesome. Whitley County out on the floor warming up. They're in their black road uniforms, red numbers and numerals. There's a W on their shorts. The Lady Red Hounds are in their white home uniforms with red. Then they have the red checkerboard down the side. Starting lineups look like this for, all right, you, you have your, oh, you got it down there. You, you, you'll have to help me on this one. What Number one for Whitley County is Martina Ahu Mata. I, I'm, I'm going to guess she's from, she's from Spain. Now okay. That, now they, they do not now. KHSAA has that I last Zergo on there, but they don't have that on the scores book, so we won't bother to try to say that part. I can see you. I don't know if she, if in that name the A. It looks like Humada. You think it's just Humada? I think it might the be Humada. Maybe silent. I think. Right. Now don't hold me to that. Marisa uh, Douglas, <laughs> sophomore number four. Chelsea Logan, a senior double zero. Taylor Rice, a senior thirty three, and a seventh grader. Aubrey Clemens, number seven. Aubrey's parents said that Aubrey would like to be known as, I think she said, Awesome Aubrey. Awesome Aubrey. I think so. Wow. She was kidding. She, <laughs> she knew me, so she's, you know. No, that's, so, that's yeah. what you do. You know? Yeah. She played, gosh, she played in our church leagues. And back oh, then, I actually wow. was almost taller, almost taller than her. <laughs> and now, look at her. And, and church league for that age is five and six-year-olds, you know. But uh, What number is she? She's number 40 down there. She's just number a seventh 40. grader. Wow. So she's... Uh, Gonna she's, be, she's got a if, great she's future ahead of her. She's one of the tallest, if not the yeah. tallest. Well, on the I, I know when I saw her parents here, I just figured she was on the, you know, playing with, getting to play with the varsity as a seventh grader. Yeah. Then I look at the starting lineups, and she's a starter. So uh, congratulations to her. For the Corbin Lady Rounds, we'll be starting with their usual: Darcy Anderson, number two; Callie Housley, a sophomore, number eleven; Lauren Faulkner, a senior, number twelve; Shelby Stewart, a senior, number twenty-four. And Reagan Walker, a freshman, number 14. Both teams are finishing up their uh, warm-ups. The band is here to do the uh, national anthem tonight. We'll have our pregame prayer and everything. Here is the last kid for the band. He's got the tuba. Okay, so that tuba shines. It's a silver tuba. Well, I know you just missed that, but did you not see what, what, did I what miss? miss Angel held up in the stance in her lap? She has juicy got? woods in her lap. What you Do you remember what you came in the last ball game and had on, and I did not have one. Oh, did you get a did you get a senior shirt? Listen, I went down there and let him and have said, it, huh? "How dare you? How dare you, <laughs> <laughs> you give that?" Gus Klaus got the shirt, shirt, and I did I not get one. Yeah, so uh, she just held yeah. it up and was showing me that she I'll has it you. down there. I'll tell you. All right, we're getting ready for all the pregame festivities, so we're going to send it back to the station for a three minute a. Three minute timeout. You're listening to Corbin Lady Redhounds basketball on WCTT. 
Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. What's up, y'all? This is Chase Rice hanging outdoors with an ice-cold Mountain Dew. You know, it's easy to tell who really loves the outdoors. For one thing, there's a rack on your car and a hitch on the back of your truck. There's a garage full of toys from wakeboards to dirt bikes. And there's a cooler full of Mountain Dew, always at the ready. Because when it's time to get out and do, you know, hit the lake or the deer stand, a cooler of Mountain Dew, that's as important a piece of outdoor gear as your four-wheeler or your fishing rod. Mountain Dew. Do the do. What's your favorite thing about football time in Corbin? The hometown pride, the sound of the cannon that echoes through downtown Corbin with every point scored, or is it the tradition of taking your family to Mikasa before the game? In Corbin, it's all about tradition, and that's what you can count on at Mikasa Mexican Restaurant, a family-friendly, delicious meal with every visit. Stop in and enjoy their patio and weekly specials. Good luck and go hounds from Mikasa of Corbin. Hometown Bank is proud of their name because Hometown Bank is proud of the hometowns they're in. In fact, their name is their mission, which is to take care of the communities in which they work and live. Hometown Bank is always here to help, so if you're buying a house, remodeling your kitchen, or need a home equity loan to combine other debt, come see Hometown Bank and find out how easy working with a Hometown Bank can be. Visit the Hometown Bank nearest you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Our world has dramatically changed over the past couple of years. We've all had to adjust to these changing times. But one thing has not changed is the fact that the Hart family and Tri-County Cycle Sales is still serving southeastern Kentucky with the same quality products and service after the sale since 1968. Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Polaris are the biggest names in off-road adventure and still can be found at Tri-County Cycle Sales. For your next ATV or side-by-side, -side, stop by the place where town has stood still. Tri-County Cycle Sales, located between Corbin and London on US 25 across from Kentucky Outdoorsman. The magical season of fall is here with cooler temperatures and shorter days. And that means two things, hunting season and it's football time in the bluegrass. So before you plan your next hunting or fishing trip, stop by Southeastern Kentucky's number one hunting and fishing headquarters, Kentucky Outdoorsman. It's national buying power with the same family owned small town customer service to which you've become accustomed. Get equipped for your next outdoor adventure at Kentucky Outdoorsman, located on US Highway 25 between Corbin and London next to Tri-County Cycle Sales. Welcome back to L.U. Dillon Memorial Gymnasium. Gus Klaus along with Angel Hilton. Just now they were presenting the game ball to Shelby Stewart for bypassing Sheree Gooden as the all-time leading lady scorer in Corbin High School basketball history. That is a day indeed. That's record. an accomplishment. It is an accomplishment. That's a big accomplishment. Big one. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to turn you up. Well, maybe I didn't have it up. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. So introducing now uh, the Whitley County. It, you know, in the JV game, Corbin raced to a nine to nothing lead and then Whitley County fought back and wound up winning the game. And so Corbin. Oh, wow. And now down at Whitley County, I understand that the uh, Lady Hounds fell behind early, fell behind by 12 points and then uh, fought their way back to win the game. So hopefully we'll get a better start, start tonight. Yes. Number well, they told me. Twelve. Yeah, Lauren Faulkner. Yes. Darcy Anderson. Callie Housley. Callie Housley was the guest on the 13th Region Media Show the other night, and I caught it. And, uh, really? <laughs> and, oh, I would like to see that. Yeah. I, I, I wonder if you can. You go back. It's on. I'm it was sure. on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure you yeah. can go back then. What was it on? It was on. It was on the uh, called the 13th Region. Media. Yes, show, yes, I'm on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where I found out that Corbin had added the game Tuesday night against Knox Central. Originally it was scheduled to be played up at North Laurel, but has been moved to Corbin. Okay. Is that when the snow canceled it out? No, it's it was this coming. It was supposed to be played this coming Tuesday, 
but okay. it's supposed to be played up at North Laurel, oh, and they moved the okay. game to Corbin. Gotcha. Man, she's tall. <laughs> you gotta, Seventh you gotta, grade. You got to stand next to her and be embarrassed. Well, you know? I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just stand next to me, and you look you look pretty tall there. Yes, I'll just I'll yeah. just stick with you guys. Yeah. I'm not sure who's jumping. Shelby's going to jump against Aubrey. Corbin. It's a, a big game for them. If they can win this, they have a chance to be the number one seed in the 50th district. Corbin. Controls the tip. Housley has it for the Lady Hounds. Gives it to Shelby. Shelby at the top of the key. Goes back to Housley on the left side. side Three-pointer no good. Ooh, didn't follow her shot. The ball goes out of bounds. I believe if she followed her shot, she could have run that down. Yeah, yeah, I think she could have too. This is going to be a big game for them. They need to play, play their best ball. Whitley having trouble getting it in. Finally, they get it in. They give it in to uh, Humada. Humada has it. Cut off there, bounces inside to Clemens. Her turnaround shot, no good. Well, it's good, but she was called for steps. Did a little crow hop there before she turned around. Okay. Anderson brings it down for the Lady Hounds. Goes to her right to Housley. Housley holds it. Looking, looking, gives it to Anderson in the corner. Right in front of the Whitley County bench. She gives it over to Housley, top of the key. They go to the left to Stewart inside. To, they bounce it inside to Faulkner. Gives it out to Housley. Housley from about 10. Got it. Nice. So Callie Housley gets a Corbin on the board. And Corbin leads 2 0 at the 707 mark. Corbin, full court press. Ball bounced off a of Reagan Walker out of bounds. Good defense. Corbin is double teamed. Usually we don't do a lot of full court pressing, but we're doing it no, right now. No, we don't normally. Omotic has it. Trying to beat Housley down the road, down the court. She does get it crossed. And she'll set up the offense. Corbin looks like they're in a man-to-man. -man. Umata starts the drive. Scoop shot. Short. Housley with the rebound. Housley quickly down court. Brings it across the timeline to her left. She's at the top of the key. Goes to her right. Shelby a long three. Oop, no good. A fall shot. Rebound by Whitley. Two we missed by falling shot. Umata has it. They go inside. Clemens. Shot. Good. Uh, awesome Aubrey gets her first two of the night. <laughs> Corbin's tied at that's two. A, that's got a good ring to it. Yeah, I bet you'll like that. Reagan Walker has it. Goes to the right, to, left to Housley. To Shelby. Shelby with three from the left side. That one doesn't even draw anything. Draw the bottom of the net, but not the, not the didn't go through it. Back the other way. Whitley has it. Three-point shot. No good. But rebound Housley. She's tied up. Chelsea Logan was a shooter out there. They they said they told me that uh, Bailey Brown was lost a couple weeks ago. Uh, through, I think they said ACL. She had some kind of injury, oh, wow. so she's not playing tonight. That's not good. Yeah. Whitley's ball underneath the basket. They get it inbounds. We're only going to call Anderson for the foul, but. Uh, Marissa Douglas was starting her move. It'll be Whitley's ball underneath their own basket. That's the first foul on Darcy. Two to two, six minutes to go in the first quarter. Whitley gets an inbounds. Little 10 footer, no good, knocked away. Whitley comes out of there with it. Clemens claims it for the Lady Cardinals. Down the lane. Whoop. Now we got away with that one. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, that kind of went a little bit of everywhere. Yeah. She kind of got a, got a good piece of her, but no foul was called. Inside, Housley. Oh, wow, nice. One, she caught it, That's shot like a it on one side leg. Shot. Four points for Housley and Corbin on top, 4 2. Whitley back the other way, and they're going to call steps. Good defense by Reagan Walker. That's really good. I thought she got a piece of it there and was going to steal it, yeah. and then she walked with it. And Taylor Rice lost her footing and, and was called for steps. Comes in bounds. Darcy Anderson has it for Corbin over to Housley on the left side. They give it to Reagan Walker in the corner. She goes back on top to Darcy. Darcy crosses it to Shelby. Shelby to Housley. Housley for a three. Boom. Mm. Wow. Nice Time three. out Whitley County with the score. It's Corbin seven, Whitley County two. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Corbin Lady Redhound basketball on WCTT. 
chilies first because Chili's it's the star. like the star of it. And then cheese is just there to be like, I'm gonna lift you up. It would be nothing without the Fritos and the cheese. Mm -hmm. And cheese is like the hype man. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap. I got you. Yeah. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? Can I get two fatty milks? Melting the cheese. Order up. Sonic patty melt. Welcome back to LU Gillen Memorial Gymnasium. Gus Klaus along with Angel Helton. Corbin on top, 7-2 to with 5-12 to go in the first quarter. Coach Sean Pigman has seen, seen all he needed to see. Decided to try to regroup his troops. It'll be Whitley's ball. Trying to bring it in against the Corbin full court press. Quickly down court is Umada. She breaks the press. Housley's guarding her. Housley picks her pocket. Picks it up. Callie looking for a little help. Brings it on down court. She's at the top of the key. Whips. Oh, oh. tries to whip it inside. Into the game for Corbin. It's Kyla Stidham. Ball is loose on the floor. Oh, good dive by good Shelby. Good dive by Shelby, but Whitley comes out of there with it. The ball was just rolling. Everybody was just looking at it. <laughs> Umada tries to drive. Tries to get rid of Lauren Faulkner. Can't do it. Passes it inside. Ball knocked away. Darcy. Ball's oh. on the floor again. Wow. And jump ball is called. Into the game is Bailey Stewart. She's going to replace Lauren Faulkner. Been needing some points from Bailey. I know it's the last game that she got. Uh, she had a good game. Did she have a good eight, one last eight game? Eight or ten, yeah. Yeah, she's been a little cold. She, needs, she yeah. needs to score. Darcy brings it down for the Lady Hounds. They, they I think it was, was it Scott County or somebody, they beat them rather handily. Corbin did. Shelby fouled. That'll be a three-point shot. Yeah. Cor Corbin defeated Scott County 81-42. to 42. Oh, okay, Scott County. Yeah. You know, Scott County's boys are always real good. I just figured the girls... Yeah. yeah. Corbin's got a good team, but the, you know, they 81 to 42 is <laughs> clock running score, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Shelby at the free throw line. She'll have three, should be. First one's good. Well, no, there's just saying a two shot. I don't thought she was up. Oh, she was past the three point. I'm surprised. So one more. Got the field. Nope, everybody's holding still. So okay, yeah. I was going to say. I, I, I missed. She was I misread behind the, three the referee's point. fingers from way back here. Well, well that's my you excuse. know, I thought about bringing my glasses in for <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, I, I, that Ooh, sounded well, good. My glasses for you. <laughs> oh, she missed that. Nine to two. Corbin on top. Four sixteen to go in the first quarter of play here at L.U. Gillum. Pretty good little crowd for a Thursday night yeah. basketball. Whitley County with the ball. Nice spin. Long three, good oh. by by Taylor Rice. Oh, doubles you, Chelsea Logan, holding her wrist. She's falling in. Oh, she's holding that wrist bad. Yeah. Coach comes out to look at her. I guess she used her wrist to try to break her fall and. That uh, nine to five Corbin on top. We'll see. They may try to go ahead and have her. The uh, trainer is out for Corbin to help take she a look. She looks real pale. Yeah, she's waving air. Plus her well, heart. And it, you know, they're asking for some water for. Her. You know, when you get an injury, sometimes it, it does make you, you know, sick to your stomach. So. Mm -hmm. Well, especially like a break. I yeah. remember I broke my foot when I played high school basketball. Oh, did you? It was like a, I couldn't stay awake. Like I just kept from the no, pain. Like is that right? Passing out, yeah. We don't need to, the, Whitley doesn't need to lose any more players. No. They said they lost to uh, Bailey Brown. And I'm not sure how much, how long she's out for. So they're going to have her. Help her up. She gets a good crack, a good uh, applause from the crowd. Chelsea Logan, a senior. Hopefully it's not too severe. Hope not. 
Someone will come in for her. It looks like it's number 15. Yeah. Kylie Brown, a sophomore. They bring a, a wrap it up for Referees are trying to talk about what what uh, I don't know if they're trying to figure out who has the ball or the ball's gonna be down on the baseline. Yeah, I think it was it was being scattered all over the floor. Is that one of those <laughs> it was kinda loose, I believe. Yeah. It's been a hard fought game. We've only played four minutes. <laughs> wow. It really seems like we've played a lot longer than that. Yeah. Nine to five, it'll be Corbin's ball. Bailey Stewart will trigger it in to Darcy Anderson. Whitley in a one three one zone, looks like. They go to the right to Shelby. Shelby, top to Bailey. Bailey goes to the right to Darcy. Darcy left hand dribble. And not sure what the call was. Pushing off by Darcy Anderson. Kyla oh, Kyla Stidham. Wow. Said she pushed off. I did not see it. Didn't mean it didn't happen. I just wasn't looking right. the direction. That they she was under the basket. Yeah. Willie County with the ball. Breaks the Corbin press. Ball knocked away, but Willie comes back up with it. The bottom. Who, who motto? And there's a foul. Well, they call it on Kyla. Allie Owsley picks up her first. They may start calling this one close. Yeah, I the think they're going to. <laughs> the JV game. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the rest, but sometimes, you know, they, in JV, they you got to be tough because they don't call as many fouls. Yeah, right. So <laughs> That's exactly right. You, you, better, you better be ready. It's kind of like playing in the backyard with your, with your cousins, you know. <laughs> Almada has it, starts to drive. Cut off there. Reagan Walker, good defense. Another drive, Reagan knocks it away. And it'll be out of bounds to Whitley. Marissa Douglas is starting to drive to the basket and Reagan knocked it away from her. Out of bounds. Underneath this, <laughs> you'll have to. Ball trying to get it in bounds. Oh, comes in bounds. Ball knocked off a of Lee, picked up. They go in down to Shelby. Shelby lays it up and in. Oh, nice. Nice breakaway. Nice job by Darcy. Picked up that loose ball and got it down to to uh, for the fourth point for Shelby Stewart. Corbin on top, 11-5, 3.04 to go here in the first quarter. They go inside, short jumper, good. Wow, that was a nice pass. By Aubrey Clemens. Awesome Aubrey, four yes. points. Yes. Anderson back the other way, 11-7. Corbin's lead is at four. Reagan Walker dips it inside. Stidham kicks it back out to Bailey. Bailey. Cross courts it to Anderson. Anderson starts to drive, kicks it back outside. Reagan Walker over a three. Oh, Ooh, in and out. Nice rebound. Nice rebound by uh -huh. Shelby. Tried to rebound, should I say. Aubrey picks up her first. Clemens is the first. That'll go. Corbin's ball underneath the goal. Triggered in by Darcy Anderson. Anderson looking. Gets it into to Bailey. Stewart Bailey kicks it out to Shelby. Kicks it back to Bailey. <laughs> Boy, they really zipping that pass, Bailey. Oh, oh, bad pass. Well, she put a lot of zip on it. And Darcy wasn't quite ready. Housley comes in for Anderson. Willie County with the ball. Full court press, Corbin. Ball comes in bounds. Whitley gets it across the timeline. <laughs> they thought about throwing it back. And that would have been an over and back. Gives it on top. Humata. No, that's not her. Drive off the oh, glass. Wow. And good by number 15, Carly Brown, who just came into the game. Her first two of the night. Corbin's lead is cut to two at 11 to nine. Bailey Stewart. These two teams very well could see each other in the 50th district. Yes. Running shot, oh. no good by Housley. Rebound, Clemens. Whitley on the run. 
Quickly, Brown brings it down again. Gives it off. That's the Douglas out there with, starts to drive down the lane. Goes up for the left, blocked by Shelby. Balls oh. on the floor. Coming out of there is Bailey. Stewart, here she goes. Oh. <laughs> she's a runaway train, buddy. She, she's <laughs> going to just go through no matter what. <laughs> she's not going to stop. Her. She got the shot off, too. That yep. was funny. <laughs> she saw that goal, and she was not going to be stopped. No. Bailey at the free throw line. First run up is oh, good. <laughs> We have one more coming to her. Erica Angel is in for the Lady Hounds. Someone else came in too. One more for her. That one does not go in. Rebound. Reagan Walker for the Lady Hounds. Gets it out to Housley. Housley fakes the three, goes the lane, kicks it into Erica. Out to Reagan. Reagan for a three. Nope. Ball bounces around. Whitley comes out of there with it. Mm, good to score on that trip down. Whitley down here with it. Setting up their offense. Minute two to go in the first quarter. Corbin's lead at 12 to 9. Foul's going to be called on Reagan Walker. I'm sure because the that's the third team foul on the Lady Hounds. Fourth team foul. And somebody has lost a contact. Oh, no. Either that or they're all looking at something on the floor. <laughs> floor that into contact. <laughs> or, or there's water. I hope there's Look, no water. Sorry, it's gone. <laughs> there it is. Somebody says, there it is. Oh, they found it. <laughs> Put your foot on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe someone like really uh, didn't step on that? Yeah, I know That's it. crazy. Right where that was at. Number 25, Jonah Rice, a seventh grader. Johnny Rice got that and took it to the locker room so it's hers martina is she the one that was out she comes back in or at least come from the side is that the one that was hurt no 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 no. oh okay whitley's ball oh they go inside to humana dribbles out backs up drives oh nice pass but oh. they can't handle it picked up down court it goes housley puts it in nice Excellent pass from Darcy Anderson. Teamwork. Nine, 14 to 9. Corbin. Down the lane. Left. Wow. Erica. Well, let's see here. What was the foul? Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a wow. slow whistle. <laughs> she, was, she had the ball getting ready to go the other way. Throw your red flag down there. <laughs> I got I got a yellow one. I want to be sure Caution. they see it. Yeah. It'll be Whitley's ball underneath their own basket. Looking, looking, foul, and they get it. Five seconds. Five second call. Wow. We'll take it. Good defense by the Lady Hounds. That's good, yeah. Ball comes in bounds. Lauren Faulkner came back into the game. Anderson. Directing traffic. Goes to the right to Housley. Corbin may be playing for one. 23 seconds to go. Goes across court to Anderson. Anderson out near the volleyball lines. Out near the half court. Gives it to Erica Angel at the top of the key. Goes to the right to Housley. Just playing keep away with 10 seconds. Housley starts to drive. Lauren Faulkner's going to have to oop. Bad pass, oh, but gosh. Housley picks it up. Tries to oh, toss wow. it up. I don't think she realized how much time she had. Double dribble yep, is called. On number four, Marissa Douglas. Do what? There's only two tenths uh, of a second. What did he say on the PA? I couldn't really hear it. Well, all you can do is catch it and toss it. And no good. We played one quarter of play with our score. It's Corbin 14, Whitley County 9. We'll be back in 30 seconds as you're listening to Corbin Lady Red Home Basketball on WCTT. Dreaming about enjoying time on the lake but need a boat? Or planning a road trip but not sure which RV is right for you and your family? 
Wildcat RV and Marine can help. With our selection of Keystone and Crossroads RVs and Mercury Low Boats, we can get you in the great outdoors. We're a family-owned RV and Marine dealer with professionally trained sales and service departments. Our staff is committed to helping you find the perfect RV or boat and keep it on the road or in the water. Wildcat RV and Marine, just off I-75 in Corbin or online at wildcatrvandmarine.com. Welcome back to L.U. Gillen Memorial Gymnasium. Guest class along with Angel Helton. It's at the end of one quarter. Corbin on top 14 to 9. And Angel, that was one of the more unique first quarters we've had this year. Wow, that was a long first quarter. It was quarter. a long first quarter. Four minutes in, I thought we were like in the second quarter. We had, we had quarter. A, a young lady get hurt. We had a lost contact. <laughs> we had uh, eight fouls. We had a lot of fouls. Yes. So That was I, I have a feeling this whole game is going to be It's like going to be that way. Yes. It'll be Whitley County's ball starting the second quarter play. Triggered inbounds. Humada brings it down for Whitley. Got Lauren Faulkner on her. Lauren, oh, almost with a steal. Humada gets it back. Gives it out. Corbin in a man-to-man. -man. Moving it around. Trying to, trying to shake. No, Corbin may be actually, well, now they're switching players. Humada with a three. Short. And wow. So somebody gave Bailey use. Bailey Stewart a good shove. No, no foul called. Ball goes out of bounds. Nobody touched it, so it's Corbin's ball. I wasn't. I, I thought maybe they did deflect it a little bit, but they didn't. No, she just missed it. <laughs> a shot like I do sometimes. <laughs> Darcy goes to her left to Housley. Housley. Top of the key to Faulkner. Goes to her right to Bailey Stewart. Bailey to Anderson at the top of the key. Darcy gives it to Bailey. Bailey on the baseline. Gives it out to Housley. Housley in the lane. Kicks it out. Lauren starts to drive. Tries to bounce it inside oh. to Angel. Erica nice. picks it up and puts it in. Wow. She knew that three-second count was coming. She got rid of it quick. Used, and you know what? She used that backboard. Yes, she did. Long three. No good for Whitley. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not for the weak of heart. Wow. wow. Or the weak in body either. I tell you, <laughs> it is rough under that, under that basket on those rebounds. Corbin's ball. Darcy Anderson will bring it down. 16 to 9. 6.46 to go here in the first half. Long one by Bailey Stewart. Oh, oh it comes out. Oh, my goodness. Out. Rebound, Whitley. On the move. Ball knocked away. Lauren Faulkner comes up with it. Lauren, she's got to take it all the way. Puts it up. Oh. No good. Rebound, Whitley. Well, I tell you, had a good chance at it right there. Got to finish those layups, girls. Back the yes, other way. they can count. Brown has it for Whitley. Setting up the offense. Starts the drive. Cut off. Gives it out, long three, good by number 33, That's Taylor nice Rice. Shot. That's her second three-pointer. 16 to 12, Corbin. Starts to Anderson, starts to drive, gives it to Stewart. Bailey gives it to Erica. Erica, nice bounce pass. They give it to Anderson. Anderson lob, tries to lob it inside to Erica. They kick it back out to Bailey Stewart. Bailey holds it over her head. Is it to Darcy? A three. Oh, got oh, it. Oh, no. That just floated right through the air. Darcy gets hot now, buddy. She can <laughs> load, fill it up. Yes, she can. 19 to 12. Corbin in the lead. Oh. Well, he's pointing like it was an offensive foul. Mm -hmm. It was. It was called an offensive foul. Marissa Douglas picks up that foul. She did. I, the coach, I don't think, could see it, but she did drop her shoulder when she went into her. She, yeah. Shelby Stewart back in. Kyla Stidham back in. Erica Angel sits down. Callie Housley sits down. <laughs> got to get your shoulder pads, girls. It's a rough one. In the corner, Kyla Stidham fakes the three. Oh, and they said she walked. Said she got going for that basketball did. I think she might have. I couldn't really tell. That was one of those That's you could call either way. That's a bang bang. Yeah. Whitley with the ball. Down the lane, they drive. Ball is finally a jump ball is going to be called. Shelby Stewart tied up number 13. 
have a 13. Well, that's not good. I got a three, but I don't have a 13. Corbin with the ball. Anderson brings it down. Goes to right to Shelby. Shelby in the corner to Kyla. Kyla starts to drive. Tries to get, they said she walked again. Well, she got tripped and fell down the ground. They said she got. You just can't take it inside. <laughs> it's that, just, just too, uh, too dangerous. I, I don't have no words for that. Five minutes to go here in this first half. Corbin on top, 19 to 12, in a very physical game. Ball lobbed inside to Clemens. She puts it in. Excellent pass. And Aubrey finished it off. Six points for the seventh grader. Seventh grade playing seventh this grade. game like she is. That That's just, I mean, kudos to her. Bailey Stewart at the free throw line. Jump shot. Oh, too hard. At the back of the rim. Whitley coming back down. Trying to get it to Clemens. She can't hang on to it. That ball had a lot of spin, and she yes, was spinning. Did. Housley back in. Replaces Stidham. Each time Kyla had it, she kind of attracted it. She went, she's not afraid to go through there. Housley has it for Corbin behind the back dribble. Whoa, oh. bad pass. She mistimed what Shelby was doing and threw it over her head out of bounds. Yeah. Turnover for the Lady Hounds. Got to keep those down when you're, you know, we're, we're getting Close toward the game, end. game, yeah. And you got to, every possession counts. 19-14, Corbin on top. This whole game, everything's going to 4.09 count. to go. Drive, layup, oh, no good. Rebound, nice save. Ball knocked about, and I believe, uh, I believe Lauren Faulkner is going to get, yes, it is going to be her. Whitley has Humada, number 33, Rice on the floor. Comes in bounds. Mata has it. Starts the drive. She's cut off. Gives it out to number 13. And then foul is called again. Wow. On Lauren. It's her second. Reagan Walker will come in and replace her. Well, underneath they don't call they don't call a whole lot, but out on the floor, you better watch. They're, I mean, they're careful. they're calling touch fouls, yeah. and which I don't, I don't know this as long game. As that's a bad both thing. Ways, yeah. Right. Number thirteen. I don't know who. Maybe thirteen is is uh, this one that's number three. But I hate to say that. Oh, there she is. She's on the very bottom. Collier. Sorry about that. She hit them both. So Caitlin Collier gets her first two of the night. Makes it three-point lead. Anderson for Corbin. Almost loses it. Gives it off to Shelby. Shelby, left-hand dribble. Goes down the lane. Boy, they're hitting her all the way down. Wow. Ball knocked out of What bounds. about a foul like was down Should here and just got knocked like three yeah, times one, through the lane? Yeah, the one girl was really letting her have it. <laughs> wow. Who bought it was really kind of. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we got to be ready, girls. Oh, they weren't looking when they threw it in. Nobody was watching all the way down, laying it up and in is Collier. That's their fourth point. And it's 19-18. Corbin's lead has got to one. Here in the 320 to go in the distance the second quarter. Wow. It feels like it's the fourth quarter, but it's the second quarter. I don't know quarter. if I can handle another half of this game. Long three. Oh. No good. Rebound Bailey Stewart. Gives it off to Callie. Housley cross courts it to Darcy Anderson. Her three pointer, oh. no good. Rebound, it goes up over the top of the backboard. Must have hit that wire. They can't get shook yep. up. Got to stay calm. Timeout on. on the floor with their score. It's Corbin 19, Whitley County 18. We'll be back in 30 seconds as you're listening to Corbin Lady Redhound Basketball on WCTT. If you're looking for a better night's sleep, Sammy's Furniture has the perfect mattress for you. Whether it's combining the support of an inner spring mattress with a comfort of memory foam with a Sealy Hybrid, or the all-night cooling of the new Tempur-Pedic Breeze, or the unparalleled design and craftsmanship of a Stearns & Foster, Sammy's Furniture is here to help you find a mattress that won't break your back or your budget. That's Sammy's Furniture and Sleep Shop, open seven days a week. Visit our store to find your perfect mattress today.
Welcome back to LUK Memorial Gymnasium. Band playing in the background. Did you notice the other coach was talking to the ones that are in the game? Some of the younger players were kind of dancing back there. They weren't dancing, dancing. dancing but just you could moving see them, around. You could see them moving to the yeah. music there. Yeah, I heard some singers. I'm not sure if that was in the band or if that was the Could have been the cheerleaders. I don't know. Or could, someone been was singing. Willie's ball, Corbin with a full court press. Trying to, trying to break it. They break the press for Cor Corbin. Willie will set it up. Umada has it, top of the key. She's got Housley on her. She's going to lob it inside to Clemens. Take it away. Oh, wow. You. Bailey gives it off to Housley, who lays it in. Nice pass to Bailey Stewart to Kelly. Housley, and that's her 11th point. Willie back the other way. Corbin on top now by three. Ball taken away. Oh, by oh. Reagan Walker, and it knocks off her own knee and out of bounds with nice, nice defense. Hustle. It'll be Whitley's ball out of bounds on the side. New player in for Whitley. Leave number 15 is Kylie Brown. Brown comes back in and gives Collier a rest. Brown will trigger it in for Whitley. Looks, 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 looks. Finally, she gets it in. They give it back to her. Brown with it. She'll set up the offense. Starts to her left. She tries to lob it inside to Clemens. Lemons is fouled by Bailey Stewart. If they can, if they can pass it into her, she's gonna be, a, she'll make trouble for him. Yes. Now, what I see from her as a seventh grader is ex absolutely no intimidation factor. Yeah. She is not. No, she's not scared. No. Yeah. Her dad stands six foot ten. Oh wow. First free throw is good. Do you know how tall she is? No, no, no. I have to find we that gotta out. we got to find that out. Seven points for Aubrey. She's got one more. Clemens, second shot is good. Great shooting for him. Yes. Her dad played at Union. Oh, okay. Shelby, and he's from Arizona. Shelby, wow. Oh, bad, wow. Bad, bad shot. Just thought she was going to get a foul call, but no whistle. 21 20. Corbin's lead is at one with 2.05 to go here in the first half. Almost stolen by Anderson and they're going to call a foul on her. I've got her with two, but you know they call it Bailey Stewart. Yes, said it came from Bailey. Wow. Not sure. I thought she was just running. <laughs> yeah. At the free throw line, it'll be number 25, John Rice. She's just a seventh grader. Some good talented seventh graders on this team. Shot is out. No good. Bailey Stewart with a rebound. Gives it up to Housley. She's in a hurry. Curled her ankle. It's Came Housley. down on her ankle. Who did that? Bailey Stewart. Reagan Walker. To Anderson for a three. Got it. Oh, Needed that. Anderson. Needed that. Long pass down. They try to get it to. Shot outside. No good. Block out. Good by Reagan good Walker. Block. She's got Housley in front of her. She gets it to her. Housley fakes, puts it up, and she's fouled from behind. Lobbered. Wow, they, they, let, her, <laughs> they let her have it. She's physical, her physical guy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Clobber, that's the only word I can. Good old clobber. <laughs> so Callie Housley's going to go to the line. She's already got 11 points. She's got 11 of Corbin's 24. Wow. Chance that's to extend a, the lead. Good. First one is good. Uh, I was looking at some of the state state uh, records not records but right now the statistics uh, there you go and she's one of the top free throw shooters well I'm not, I'm not jinxing her but she's one of the top free throw shooters in the state wow got them both That's great. I think she's like 80 above 80 percent mm -hmm. oh pass down court stolen or at least knocked away by Shelby oh the referee said you stepped out of bounds to try to save it it's all oh, right I thought she still good defense it. I did too <laughs> But the referee was standing right there. Twenty-six. She was watching. I, she I was have watching faith close. in her. She's a, She's good, a good referee. referee. She so is. I really like her. She calls it fair, she no matter yeah, what. Some, some, some you don't have faith in, but you got faith. I, I have faith her. in her completely. Yeah. <laughs> Willie with the ball. She'll be glad to know that. Won't That's she? right. I'm gonna tell her. Oh, <laughs> Reagan Walker tries to steal it. She's called for a foul. I'll tell you what, it's whoever has the last. Uh, Coach Wilson's up, and he's upset. 
I don't know if he's upset about the call or if he's upset at his team. At he was uh, he was getting on Reagan. I don't know. If Rice he wonders somewhere different. Rice the free throw line. Her first free throw is no good. She has one more coming to her. Rice, the seventh grader, getting ready to come in. Probably stood him for Liddy Hounds if she makes this. She does make it. She'll replace Reagan Walker. Stidham will give it in to Darcy Anderson. Anderson will bring it across the timeline. Ridley County picks up at the half courts. Darcy starts to her left. Goes to Housley. Housley goes right back to Darcy at the top of the key. Back to Housley. She goes. Nice bounce pass inside. Stidham cannot hit it, but she, <laughs> she had three players standing there. I'm not sure who got the foul. Shelby's shaking her hand. She's been, she had one. Uh, so Kyla Stidham will go to the free throw line shooting two. The senior elected as the homecoming queen. That's a nice honor. That was very nauseous. First free throw is up and, ooh, rattles out. Okay. It's, that's a nice feeling. I won homecoming queen. Huh? I won homecoming queen. Did you? Queen. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I won't say how long ago that's been. It's I been did. a very long time ago. But. <laughs> <laughs> and your daughter won it, so that's pretty My good. My daughter Oh, won no. It. Well, yes. She missed them both. Could use those. 26-21. Well, I did not win Mr. Basketball. Oh, almost stolen away by... By Bailey Stewart, but Whitley controls it. Kylie Brown with it, trying to break loose. They she dribbles. They cut off there. Collier is Collier has it knocked away. Oh, Ball wow. is on the floor. Coming up with it is oh, Aubrey oh, Clemens who ow. puts it in. Uh, Didn't give up. Didn't oh, stop. Awesome Aubrey with her tenth point. In the corner, Shelby Stewart for a three, way oh. off. Didn't come anywhere close. Got to watch, watch your temper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Let's see what happened. You know, both players are. Uh, not sure what happened there. Not sure. I think Shelby, Shelby tried thought to steal she was... it and shoot it, and that girl, no. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. We don't have a monitor to go to. So oh, wow. This is where, because both, both players got upset there. 26-23. She shot it, and I know Shelby thought she was fouled because that ball missed by quite a bit, so there's a good chance she was fouled. Yeah. But then when she went to get the rebound, there was. Well, the rebound had come down, and the girl had it, but she wrenched. About the same time she got the rebound, Shelby retched for it from her and jerked it out of her hand and went to shoot. But when she went to shoot, the girl came back down on her. So it happened so quick. I couldn't really. But it wasn't nice. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened wasn't nice. Well, Coach Wilson's walking away with one of them funky smiles like, I don't believe what you just told me. Well, I think I know what he's upset about. He's, that... he's upset that she was. Uh, you know. Yeah. That's a big district game, so what have the, what are we called here? Okay, they call a foul on Shelby. And a technical technical foul. Wow. Wow. At the free throw line, it'll be number 13. Said she rushed Caitlin in. And it was intentional. I was, I mean, I was watching that. It looked like she just took the ball. I, I'm not sure. Collier does not draw. Okay. But she's still out there, so she's got one more tour coming to her. Collier does. And it is good. That is her fifth point of the night. She hit three out of four free. Now they're going to have a technical shot. So call your shot two free throws for being fouled. Now number 33, Taylor Rice, the senior, is going to shoot a technical, I guess two shots for the technical. So we're really could tie it up and, and have still have the ball. And she missed it. 
Coach, <laughs> Coach Bigman oh, says, wow. I picked you out to shoot the tentacle for me. I so feel a <laughs> headache coming on for the second <laughs> half. <of this game. laughs> second one is good. And Whitley will get the ball, I think. I think. Yeah, they I do think. after a technical. Yes, after, they do. It used to be. Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me they say. They changed so many rules here. They have. Yes, they have. You know, in college ball, they, they changed so many. Weird, you know, weird technicals just weren't aren't as, uh, aren't as powerful as they used to be. All right. It's Whitley's ball. Corbin's lead. 26, 25, 22 seconds to go in the first half. We need a halftime break. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Brown has it for Whitley. She's looking for Clemens. Ball on the ground, stolen away by Housley. Ten seconds, Housley's still going. Housley down the lane, Housley's floater won't go. Rebound, Whitley County. Stay cool, everybody. One second. <laughs> hands up, hands up. That's the end of the first half <laughs> with our score. Corbin, 26. Whitley, 25. We'll be back in two minutes as you're listening to Corbin Lady Redhounds basketball on WCTT. Hello, I'm Dr. Deidre Pennington, and I invite you to discover the difference at Pennington Wellness, Chiropractic, and Massage. We offer digital x-ray with instant imaging for the most specific solution to your problem. The Atlas Orthogonal Technique offers a gentle and precise adjustment with no twisting of the neck or spine. Pennington Wellness offers a family-friendly atmosphere. Trust, Trust our Grammy. Grammy. We do! We've all been there, out and about, and you see someone and you just can't seem to remember their name. This happens to just about all of us, but it shouldn't with your doctor. Today, it is so convenient to see a provider who doesn't know your name, let alone your medical history. Your family needs a primary care provider who knows you and meets all of your family's needs. Jane's Family Practice is now open and located on Master Street in Corbin. Stop in for school physicals, women's care, men's health screenings, regular checkups, and when you just aren't feeling your best. Call and schedule an appointment today with Jane's Family Practice at 280-4000. That's 280-4000. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. What's up, y'all? This is Chase Rice hanging outdoors with an ice-cold Mountain Dew. You know, it's easy to tell who really loves the outdoors. For one thing, there's a rack on your car and a hitch on the back of your truck. There's a garage full of toys from wakeboards to dirt bikes. And there's a cooler full of Mountain Dew, always at the ready. Because when it's time to get out and do, you know, hit the lake or the deer stand, a cooler of Mountain Dew, that's as important a piece of outdoor gear as your four-wheeler or your fishing rod. Mountain Dew. Do the do. Welcome back to L.U. Gill Memorial Gymnasium. It is halftime. Corbin leads Whitley County in a uh, struggle, 26 to 25. For Whitley County, scoring looks like this. Kylie Brown has two points. John Rice has one. Taylor Rice has seven. Aubrey Clemens has 10. And Caitlin Collin Collier has five. For the Corbin Lady Red Hounds, Darcy Anderson has six. Callie Hensley, uh, Housley has uh, 13, Bailey Stewart 1, Shelby Stewart 4, Erica Angel 2. Uh, both teams, uh, it's one of them things where uh, it's a district game and both teams know what this game means. And so it's uh, uh, both teams kind of got to remember to keep your keep your tempers in check on, on this game because you don't want to you don't want to get somebody hurt and, and like that so it, it is halftime Corbin on top 26 25 also we don't want to start I imagine when they come out the second half they the refs will be I would expect to be calling it very close and so you don't want to lose your players to foul so so keep your cool and uh, play some better team ball both teams probably would like to be playing better but a lot of it you know a lot of it's the uh, you know they could these two teams could very well see each other again in the 50th district first round so uh, right now, Corbin and South Laurel are uh, locked at the top spot. Corbin wins this game. And I think, well, and then them, them and South Laurel will have the same district record. And so then you go at uh, 
uh, Williamsburg and Whitley. Williamsburg, I think, will be the four seed. Whitley will be the three seed. Even if Whitley wins this game, Corbin still would be the two seed. And so the way it goes, of course, is the first seed plays the fourth seed. Uh, one of these teams will play Williamsburg, and then the other team will play Whitley County. Either Corbin or South Laurel will play against Whitley County. And the district is not far away. Next week, Corbin will be playing Tuesday night against Knox Central here. That should be a fun one. And then uh, the following week, I believe, is district. So... Be, be uh, Get yourself ready. Get down here. And Corbin is the host this year, so you can come in and watch it here nearby and uh, come on and watch it. You've got uh, South Laurel. you got Corbin. you got Whitley County. And you got Williamsburg. So you've got four good teams going to battle it out for the right to, to go on to the region. Right now, let's take a uh, – let's give our sponsors some time. Let's take a three-minute, a three-minute timeout as you're listening to Corbin Lady Redhound Basketball on WCTT. What's your favorite thing about football time in Corbin? The hometown pride, the sound of the cannon that echoes through downtown Corbin with every point scored, or is it the tradition of taking your family to Mikasa before the game? In Corbin, it's all about tradition, and that's what you can count on at Mikasa Mexican Restaurant, a family-friendly, delicious meal with every visit. Stop in and enjoy their patio and weekly specials. Good luck and go hounds from Mikasa of Corbin. I need three Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Apps. Adding Fritos. Order up. Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior App. Chili's first because Chili's it's the star. Like the star of it. And then cheese is just there to be like, I'm gonna lift you up. It would be nothing without the Fritos and the cheese. Mm -hmm. And cheese is like the hype man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior App. Uh, I got you. Yeah. Dreaming about enjoying time on the lake but need a boat? Or planning a road trip but not sure which RV is right for you and your family? Wildcat RV and Marine can help. With our selection of Keystone and Crossroads RVs and Mercury Low Boats, we can get you in the great outdoors. We're a family-owned RV and Marine dealer with professionally trained sales and service departments. Our staff is committed to helping you find the perfect RV or boat and keep it on the road or in the water. Wildcat RV and Marine, just off I-75 in Corbin or online at wildcatrvandmarine.com. If you're looking for a better night's sleep, Sammy's Furniture has the perfect mattress for you. Whether it's combining the support of an inner spring mattress with the comfort of memory foam with a Sealy Hybrid, or the all-night cooling of the new Tempur-Pedic Breeze, or the unparalleled design and craftsmanship of a Stearns & Foster, Sammy's Furniture is here to help you find a mattress that won't break your back or your budget. That's Sammy's Furniture & Sleep Shop, open seven days a week. Visit our store to find your perfect mattress today. Hello, I'm Dr. Deidre Pennington, and I invite you to discover the difference at Pennington Wellness, Chiropractic, and Massage. We offer digital x-ray with instant imaging for the most specific solution to your problem. The Atlas Orthogonal Technique offers a gentle and precise adjustment with no twisting of the neck or spine. Pennington Wellness has a friendly staff and relaxing spa-like atmosphere. Trust, Trust our Grammy. We do! We've all been there, out and about, and you see someone and you just can't seem to remember their name. This happens to just about all of us, but it shouldn't with your doctor. Today, it is so convenient to see a provider who doesn't know your name, let alone your medical history. Your family needs a primary care provider who knows you and meets all of your family's needs. Jane's Family Practice is now open and located on Master Street in Corbin. Stop in for school physicals, women's care, men's health screenings, regular checkups, and when you just aren't feeling your best. Call and schedule an appointment today with Jane's Family Practice at 280-4000. That's 280-4000. Welcome back to LU Gillen Memorial Gymnasium. Gus Klaus along with Angel Hilton. It is halftime. <laughs> Corbin is just now coming back out on the floor. Whitley County already out uh, around their coach. And uh, it's a, kind, of a, kind of a different first half. Both teams are very physical, very, they, they know the, uh, they know what the uh, what this means, and so got to keep your head though, because you don't want to you don't want to lose your chance to to play in the district or get hurt and can't play. So uh, that's the whole thing. You just got to be 
got to outsmart the other team and, and not uh, allow yourself to be drawn in. So, so right now, uh, Corbin uh, warming up and Whitley County warming up. Looking at the halftime scoring once again, Callie Brown is two, John Rice is one, Taylor Rice seven, Aubrey Clemens leads the way for Whitley with 10, and Caitlin Collier's has five. Collier has five. Uh, for the Lady Red Hounds, Darcy Anderson has two three pointers for six points. Housley leads the way with 13 points. Bailey Stewart one, Shelby Stewart four, Erica Angel has two. So, uh, got to get uh, our, our shooters going and uh, try to try to extend this lead. Only on top, Corbin 26, 25. We'll see if Corbin probably start with the same same starters. Referees uh, just waiting for the final 25 seconds to come off the clock. It'll be, let's see, looks like it's going to be Whitley County's ball to start this third quarter of play. They started with uh, Kelly Housley asking the referees to watch for something in particular. <laughs> All right. So I see you got your senior shirt. Well. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice, ain't it? Yeah. Yep. Already got I'm mine. I'm going to wear it with my <laughs> red long sleeve shirt long sleeve. under it. Go. Yeah, because I'll be cold. Yeah. Yeah. Whitley has the ball to start the second <laughs> half. Corbin has the same uh, lineup as the start of the game with. Down the lane, they try to toss it inside. Ball tipped out of bounds. Well, no. Second thought, Erica Angel is starting the second half. And I'm sure she's in there to try to slow down Aubrey Clemens, who had 10 points the first half. Whitley's ball underneath their own basket. Ball comes in bounds. Blocked from behind. That's Housley. a nice block. Housley. Down to Anderson. Anderson's going to wait. No, she's going to pull up and shoot. Oh. Off the side of the rent, off the side of the backboard. She usually doesn't miss those. Quickly back the other way is Whitley County. They go inside to Clemens. Her shot partially blocked by Erica Angel. Out of there is Housley. The senior against the seventh grader. Housley bounce passes it. Gives it back. Reagan. Walker has it. Oh, pass to Housley. Housley for a three. Nice oh, no oh. good. Rebound. Oh, uh, Humada. But she dribbled right behind her back. And uh, got away with a double dribble when she dribbled yeah. two hands. Sometimes you do things so if you do things quick enough, <laughs> nobody sees nobody it. can tell. It. Yeah, <laughs> nobody can tell it. Long three in and out. Rebound comes out. Housley's gonna pick it up. She'll set it up. Housley at the top of the key. Oh, nice pass inside. Lauren oh. Faulkner misses the shot, nice but she is fouled. Got to have these free throws. Corbin on top, 26-25. 6.41. We played, we played a, a minute, not quite a minute and a half, but neither team has scored. That's how, how much the defenses have been going at each other. Wow, yeah, it's, it's been a physical game. Lauren's first one is up. No good. She have one more coming to her. Takes a breath, dribbles once, lets it go. That one's good. First point for the senior. 27-25. Corbin's lead is at two. Whitley with the ball. Taylor Rice, she can shoot those threes. She's got to keep an eye on her. Brown has it. Goes inside. Up, Aubrey. No good. Rebound comes out of their phone. Gives it off to Cowley. Housley in the lane, spins, tosses oh, it up. No wow, foul call. No foul. Wow. Ball knocked off of the toe. I think it should be Corbin's ball. It is. Housley with an excellent play, knocking it off of Marissa Douglas's foot. The Corbin's ball on the side, right, right on the edge near the bench. Darcy Anderson will toss it in. Darcy looking, looking, gets it in to Reagan Walker. Reagan starts to her right. She's at the top of the key. Goes back to her left. 
to Owsley. Housley tosses it inside to Lauren Faulkner. And it's taken away from her by Humada of Whitley. Gives it off. All the way down. Shot no good. Anderson gets the rebound for the Lady Hounds. Left hand dribble behind the back. Stops the outside. Shoots a three. Oh, Ooh, wow. Didn't hit anything. Oh. Ball saved by Housley, but nobody's out there to get it. Can't give up on flustered. yourself. Getting a little flustered. Darcy missed a shot. She can't, can't get down on herself. Even the, even the great Angel Help missed a shot or two in her time. Um, well, maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a whole bunch. Maybe a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Whitley County brings it down. Calls the play. Corbin in a different defense there. Moving it around. Trying to drive. Who bought it? Tries to bounce past it inside. Pass goes out astray. I think she was looking for Aubrey Clemens, but the pass just was no way we're near her. Yeah, that was a nice call by. Darcy Who was Andrew. that? Lauren, Lauren Faulkner. She went to go for the ball, and then she realized yeah, she don't had touch hit it, it last. Yeah. Yeah. Housley brings it down. She's going to run the offense. Anderson's going to take a rest. Reagan Walker gives to Lauren. Lauren back out to Housley. Housley fakes the three. Goes in. Ten-footer won't oh. go. Aubrey Clemens with the rebound. She's tied up. Jump ball. That, that's one thing a seventh grader will have to learn. As tall as she is, don't you, bring that ball you down. don't bring it down, now. Because when you bring it down, the, the smaller folks will grab it on you. With Bailey such Stewart. a physical game, Housley's oh. got such good sportsmanship tonight. Right through the hands. Foul is called. I think Reagan Walker is going to pick up that yep. foul. And that for Reagan. Let's see what he says. So the third foul. Darcy Anderson comes back in. We've got about six people out there. Seven people. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> going to have to come out. So Darcy Anderson comes back in. Bailey Stewart is in. And I think Kyla Stidham came in. Yes. Ball comes in bounds for Whitley. In the corner. Moving around. Whitley has had trouble scoring, but Corbin isn't doing any scoring either. Stolen by Anderson. Darcy, oh, oh it crap. ricochets right off her own knee and out of bounds. She Have you ever had went one of down those trying days? To grab it. Yeah. <laughs> Hang in there, Darcy. There will be better times. Whitley County's ball, Corbin on top by two. Ooh, she got away with, nope, she did not get away with. Number 25, both teams really have been kind of ragged, ragged. Donna Rice gets called for the walk. Anderson triggered in for Corbin underneath the Corbin basket. Right in front of the cheerleaders. Looking, looking, gets it out to Housley, Housley. Nice bounce pass to Erica Angel. Puts nice. it off the glass and in. Nice play. Excellent. Four points for Erica Angel, the senior off the bench. First down. Whoop. Erica's going to get called for the foul. She thinks she blocked the shot. You could tell yeah. by that reaction. Yeah. Yeah, I think she got our ball. From here, I would not guess. <laughs> it, he said Bailey. Did he say Bailey Stewart? Did he say Bailey? Shot is good by Caitlin Collier. Her sixth point of the night. She's second leading scorer for Whitley. Oh no, Taylor Rice at seven. Chance for her to have seven. Got them both. Corbin's lead is at two again, 29-27. Ball comes in to Darcy Anderson. Anderson to Bailey Stewart. Bailey. All the way, layup, no good. Nice rebound by Erica. Goes in! Wow. Wow, that was at the top of the backboard. Yes, it was. I thought it was coming over the other side. I thought they were going to call it out. 31-27, Corbin. Six points for the senior. Almost reached in by, uh, stolen by Housley. Housley goes all the way. Nice it in. play by Housley. She's on it tonight. Corbin trying to shake Whitley up a little bit with a long three. Good. By Taylor Rice trying to silent the crowd a little bit. Tenth point for her. Cuts it back to three again. 33 to 30. Kyla Stidham shot no oh. good. Rebound Whitley County. Douglas has it. Gives it down court to Collier. Collier 
to Douglas. Douglas, long wow. three, won't go. Housley's going to corral it. She's knocked down. Kind of a oops knockdown. Really, uh, Kylie Brown was falling down, and, and when she fell down, she fell into into uh, Callie. Really, she didn't mean to foul her, own, but you got to call it because she made Callie lose the ball. Right. 33 30, 3 This is one of the wackier games this year. I don't even have a kid out there. Look at my face. I think my blood pressure is like out the roof. Anderson fakes, gives it to Angel. Erica, shot too hard. Ball, oh, stolen by Anderson. Oh. Nice, nice read of the defense by with the defense. She, Darcy, back out near the pole sprint for the Lady Hounds. Fouled by Humanda. Tried to reach in there and steal it. I was trying to see if Larry Dickerson, oh. how Larry Dickerson said it, the <laughs> PA announcer. <laughs> Bailey throws it in. They give it out to Housley. She'll bring it and set up the offense. 2.44 to go in the third quarter. Corbin by three, 33 to 30. Corbin uh, averages 60 to 70 points with this game here. That's just a uh, and timeout. Corbin with our score. It's Corbin 33 and Whitley County 30. We'll be back in 30 seconds. As you listen to Corbin Lady Redhound basketball on WCTT. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to L.U. Gillen World Gymnasium. Last district game of the season, and it's a humdinger. Wow, is it ever. Corbin wins this one. They have a chance to be the number one seed in the 50th district. But if they lose it, they'll be the number two seed. Yeah, so. I, they're, they're fighting hard tonight. This is a, I knew this was going to be a tough game for several reasons, especially district. It is Corbin's ball on the side. Stidham tosses it into Housley. 33-30, two and a half minutes in the third. Everybody got quiet. <laughs> Kyla, that was like a moment there. Kyla starts to drive, goes to Erica Angel. Erica at the top of the key. Gives it out to Stidham. Stidham for a three. Oh, oh. won't go. Rebound, Whitley County. Coming, coming out of there with it is Douglas. Douglas brings it across the timeline. Gives it to Mata. Mata cut off. They call the foul on Bailey Stewart. Oh, wow. Really? I thought they, the coach had called a timeout. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see nothing happen. The way she pointed toward that area. Oh, wow. That was something. <laughs> Ball comes in bounds. Long three. In and out. Rebound. Erica Angel. For Corbin. Gives it up to Darcy Anderson, a minute 55. Housley is oh, scores. Yes. This is loud. Nice. That was a nice. That was, that was, that was a, a scoop. That was a noodle scoop. That was a noodle but scoop was by, by, Housley. by Housley. That's right. So She's Housley determined to tonight. Housley goes to the free throw line. Her free throw is good. An old fashioned three point play, 18 points for Callie Housley. 36 30. Corbin leads at six. Whitley with the ball. Humada gives it back. Ooh, boy, I tell you what, Douglas is thinking about shooting a three from way back. Wow, she's almost she's out of bounds. <laughs> I know it. Humada bounces it in. Fake. Collier. Ball blocked. Bodies on the floor. Rebound. Bailey Stewart. Bailey. Whips it down to, oh, Housley, and oh. she's fouled. Corbin's got a little determination on their faces at this second. You can see it all over Housley. She's determined. She is, uh, 
She'll have two free throws coming to her. First one is up and good. Nice shot. 19 points for the sophomore. 37-30. Corbin's lead is at seven. Aubrey Clemens coming back in for Whitley County. The amazing Aubrey, she wants to be called. I think yes. that's what mom said. I think she's a great ball player. She's seventh grader. Seventh grade. Yeah. One more free throw. Oh, she missed. Don't miss very many. Clemens with the rebound. Use it off. Whitley County with the ball. Almost deflected, they say, but Anderson and Corbin goes in the backcourt. Douglas gives it off. They try to go inside to Clemens. Nice defense by Bailey Stewart. Kyla Stidham with it. Gives it out to Anderson. Anderson at the free throw line. Kicks it back out. They give it to, to Erica Angel. Got yes. it! Oh, nice mercy! Shot. Erica Angel. Erica is on fire says, tonight. Give me that ball, Coach. Give me that ball. 39-30, <laughs> Corbin. Long inside. Don't foul her. Let her go. Ball's locked out of bounds. Got to keep Corbin. them hands up. Erica Angel's just laughing like she can't <laughs> I believe. think she about fell, and then it looked like she was trying to push her. I about caught a foul. She got. Aubrey is not very big. Not, you know, she's no. A, remember, she's a she's seventh little. grader. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's very tall, but she's not, you know, she's still a seventh grade. Ball, ooh, oh, oh. I thought Stidham was going to try to steal that one. Close. Willie moving the ball around. They try to go inside. Collier kicks it out. Long three, no good. Bailey Stewart with a rebound, and she's fouled. Good nice job. rebound. Everybody keep it doing good. Now we got to hit her, got to hit your free throws now. That was not. We're not shooting yet. That was just the, the 16 foul for Whitley. But the next one, next three, next foul by Whitley, Corbin will be in the bonus. Corbin only has three fouls this quarter. Darcy Anderson brings it down. See if we play for the last uh, shot. 15 seconds. Darcy gives it to Bailey Stewart. Bailey kicks it to Stidham. Stidham drops it down. Erica Angel fakes, goes up, nice. scores. Oh, he's going to oh, say she's Oh, he says fouled. she won't. Oh, mercy. Coach, <laughs> Coach Isaac Wilson's face is as red as the jerseys. Yeah, there was no walk there. I was no, sitting he right it. here <laughs> looking at it. Oh, wow. I thought it was a foul. Long shot, no good. Oh. We played three quarters <laughs> in our score. It's Corbin 39, Whitley County 30. We'll be back in 30 seconds as you're listening to Corbin Lady Red Hounds basketball on WCTT. What's up, y'all? This is Chase Rice hanging outdoors with an ice cold Mountain Dew. You know, it's easy to tell who really loves the outdoors. For one thing, there's a rack on your car and a hitch on the back of your truck. There's a garage full of toys from wakeboards to dirt bikes. And there's a cooler full of Mountain Dew always at the ready. Because when it's time to get out and do, you know, hit the lake or the deer stand, a cooler Mountain Dew, that's as important a piece of outdoor gear as your four-wheeler or your fishing rod. Mountain Dew. Do the do. We're night school band keeping everyone entertained and the cheerleaders are uh, doing all the different stunts. What do they call those people on top of a flyer or something like that? Yes. That has to be scary. I'd be afraid. Yeah, I'd be afraid I had a fight with somebody and they'd say, oops, I dropped you. <laughs> oops, accidentally <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Corbin's yeah. lead is at nine as we start the fourth quarter play. It'll be Whitley County's ball. Corbin will have Bailey Stewart, Callie Housley, Darcy Anderson, Erica Angel, and Kyla Stidham. Ball comes in bounds for Whitley. Top of the key. Go back out. Tossing it back and forth. Here, Coach Coach Wilson trying to help out the defense a little <laughs> bit. Ball knocked out of bounds by Bailey Stewart. There she is, Jonna Rice. That's a good jump there. Jonna Rice and uh, number four, which is Marissa Douglas, have been the ones just playing pitch and catch. They give it to Rice. She's just a seventh grader running the offense. They got two seventh graders out there. Can you imagine? Gosh, that's young. Rice foul is called on somebody. She didn't touch her. Well, they're going to call it on. Erica. Wow. 
She, I, I'm not. I'm not kidding. There was no contact. I didn't, I didn't, None I whatsoever. Thirty-nine, thirty. Be really ball underneath their basket. Trying to get it in bounds. They go out to the way, out to the side. Whoop. She loses it for a second. Stolen away by Reagan Walker. Nice. She gets it up to Darcy. Darcy backs it up and runs the offense. There was no outside shot. No oh, good. Nobody rebounded. Palace didn't shot it before. I think the team, well, they, realized. they were ready. I think she, yeah, I think she surprised them. Yeah. Back to the other way. Brown, long three. No good. Rebound. Darcy Anderson for the Lady Hounds. Darcy. Ooh, gets it out to Housley. Housley whips it to Reagan Walker. Reagan to Anderson. Anderson for a three. Won't oh. go. Just one of them days where she's not hit. Ball out of bounds. It'll go to Whitley County. 39-30. Into the game is Humada. Replaces Kylie Brown. Humada. 39-30. 6.50 to go. Can Corbin hang on? Whitley keeps Whew. coming at them. <laughs> they are bringing it to them. In the corner, long three, in and out. Rebound, Stewart. Bailey on the move, Bailey. Gives it to Housley, Housley. Running shot, won't go. Good looking shot, but just wouldn't go. Yeah. Runner in the lane. Amata has it for Whitley. Goes in the corner. Go all the way in the corner to Douglas. Douglas to Humada. Back to Douglas. She'll shoot that three. Gives it back to Humada. Not sure. They're looking for something, but I'm not sure what it is. They go trap, trap. And they're going to call a foul. I think it's on Stidham. Wow. Well, huh. I don't know. This is just... I don't really have a lot of words right now. There, there was no, yeah, I'm not sure what they were looking for on that play. Uh, Kept moving it back and forth. Douglas at the line. She's looking for her first points. Got it. Marissa Douglas. Her first point, she's a sophomore. She's had a couple good-looking threes launched, but they just wouldn't go for it. One more shot coming at the free-throw line. She got a both. Back into the game for Whitley County. He's number 15. Brown, that is Kylie Brown. 39-32. Corbin's lead at seven with six minutes to go. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> wow. I'm just thought process. Bailey in Stewart. Action. Nobody guards her. She hits wow. it. Wow. <laughs> nice three by oh. Bailey. We need you, Bailey. We need you. Yep. She needs to step up tonight. Fourth point for Bailey Stewart. 42-32. Corbin's lead is at 10. Long three. Good. By number 25, Jonah Rice. That's her first uh, basket of the night. That's a free throw. Corbin. Housley tries to get inside to Reagan Walker. Reagan goes up. And she's fouled. Nice play. Foul is on number 33, Taylor Rice. Reagan Walker goes to free throw line. You know, Reagan has not scored as much this year, but, but then again, there's some of that scoring has been taken. You know, Darcy Anderson. He's been doing more scoring. Has yes. joined the team and done scoring. Ooh, oh. That first one is no good. Reagan Walker's one of them that she contributes all over the floor. She, her, yeah, her job this year has been more defensive. Defensive, yeah. yes. She's really had to – she a lot of times gets the the scores or, or the taller girls and has had to play defense against somebody taller than her. Yes. That's not easy. One more shot for the freshman. That one is good. Back into the game for Corbin is Lauren Faulkner. 43-35, Corbin's lead at 8. 5-14 to go in the game. Inside, shot, Douglas good. Marissa Douglas, four points for her. Back the other way, Housley. All the way, lays it up and in. Nice. Boy, that's a strong She move. is strong to the basket. 21 points. Housley, Whitley with the ball. Stolen, almost stolen by Anderson. Ball's on the ground. What's the call? 
Timeout, Whitley County. Timeout on the floor with their score. It's Corbin 45, Whitley County 37. We'll be back in 30 seconds as you're listening to Corbin Lady Red Hound Basketball on WCTT. What's your favorite thing about football time in Corbin? The hometown pride, the sound of the cannon that echoes through downtown Corbin with every point scored, or is it the tradition of taking your family to Mikasa before the game? In Corbin, it's all about tradition, and that's what you can count on at Mikasa Mexican Restaurant, a family-friendly, delicious meal with every visit. Stop in and enjoy their patio and weekly specials. Good luck and go hounds from Mikasa of Corbin. Welcome back to L.U. Gillen Memorial Gymnasium. Gus Klaus was along with Andrew Helton. Corbin holding, clinging on to an eight-point lead, 45-37. Still a lot of time to go. It's 4:46. Yes. In this These game. quarters have went by like ball games. Yeah. This could be a preview of the first round of the district. Yes. Whitley County with the ball. Rice has it. Gives it off to Douglas. Douglas cross courts it. They go inside. Clemens turn around, shot a little short. Oh, got the rebound, put it back up, no good. Rebound inside, Reagan Walker. Reagan gives it off. Housley, she's just going to take it to the hoop. Score! Yeah. <laughs> Scoop shot again. Housley wow. is, she is determined. She says, we're going to win this she game. She says, I, if I have to take it every hook, time. <laughs> hook, your wagon, hook your wagon here. I'm taking you home. She's going to make this happen. She goes to the free throw line, shooting one, trying to make a, a good old-fashioned three-point play. 23 points of the night. Shot is up, and oh, it rolled off. No, nice rebound by Reagan Walker, but she can't hit it. Oh, that was so close. Oh, so close. So close. Ramada has it for Whitley County. She'll bring it down and set it up. 47-37. Corbin in the lead. Four minutes to go in the in the game. Inside to Clemens. One-footed. She put it in. She's balancing on one foot when she got it, and she put it in. 12 points for the seventh grader. Anderson. Darcy. Backs up. Bailey Stewart for a three. Won't go. Follow her shot. No, oh, she did, but she... Got there a little late. That's her fourth, they say. Erica Angel comes in for Lauren Faulkner. Corbin, we, we can't handle the overtime because we got a lot of fouls. Yes, and, we do. And plus, it's be too nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it over time. <laughs> Willie County's ball. Bottom to Douglas in the left It would side. not be good for anyone's health tonight. Long three. No good. Nice rebound by Reagan Walker and the Lady Hounds. Gives it off to Housley. Housley. She's going through the lane. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Reverse. Reverse behind the back layup. I, I hope you bought the video tonight so oh you can watch She's that. on video. These games are videos. Points. Wow. <laughs> for Kelly Housley. What that shot had so much spin off the off the backboard. Oh, blocked by Darcy. Out of bounds off of Whitley. Corbin's ball. Excellent hustle by Darcy yes, Anderson. Yes, it was. This is what happens when it comes down to this and this good of a game, district game, it's someone's gonna out hustle someone. Darcy Anderson has it for the Lady Hounds. 304 to go. Darcy. Starts to drive, she's cut off. No need to be in a hurry, you got a lead. They go to inside, nice bounce pass to Erica Angel. She yeah. scores, she's fouled. Nice play, nice play. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> How about that for our senior? <laughs> 10 points, double, double figures. Erica Angel is on it tonight. <laughs> you can read it all over her face, you don't have to guess. She's got one free throw coming to her. Chance to make the old-fashioned three-point play. Shot is good. Nice. She, a lot, she puts a lot of height in her free She throws. does. She makes sure the arch is there. Biggest lead for the ha Lady Hounds, 52-39 with 2.48 to go. Humada has it for Whitley. Well, last time this, these two teams met, it was a four-point game. This is, oh, a three-pointer from the corner by number five or 15. 15. 15. Whitley County's going to call time, but we're going to stay right here. Kylie Brown hit that three-pointer. 
That's five points for her. 52-42, she gets it back to 10. You know they're going to come after you. Now, the next foul by Wheatley County, Corbin's going to be shooting the double bonus. <laughs> Are you grooving to the music? Oh, let there? me tell you, i got to do something to release this energy. <laughs> oh. You would think I still have a kid in the court. Your, your face is red. I as, told you, I'm going to have to take a blood pressure pill. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Not, well, there's a few of these kids that they're still like mine, well, sure you know. Are. So, yeah. well, and, and some of them, you know, even if you, you know, just watch them for a little while, they you, yes. you, you get attached yes. to them. Watch them for four years. We've been doing, how long we've been doing this? Uh, four, four or five, or five years. Yeah, yeah. You know, every, every, I always think I haven't done something for very long. Then I'll see something on Facebook says one of your memories from so many years ago. Really, it's been that long. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. It will be Whitley County's ball. Is that right? No, Corbin's ball because they just hit a three-pointer. Yes. Yeah. Somebody Corbin's yelled something at Erica Angel. She's smiling. <laughs> it will be Corbin's ball who's bringing it in. 2.40 to go in the game. Gus Klaus along with Angel Helton. In this district game. Comes over to Anderson. Anderson gets it across the timeline. Anderson still going. Kicks it out to Reagan Walker. Good patience. Oh, oh, bad pass. It's picked off. Let her go. Don't foul her. Oh, she blocked it, but they, they're going to call her for a foul. A nice steal by Kylie Brown. She just stepped right in that lane and picked off that pass. And took yep. it all the way. Reagan Walker tried to block it. She's going to get called for the foul. Brown at the free throw line. She hit that three-pointer just a second ago. Oop, but she missed that one. Back into the game for Corbin. Noodles, Stewart. Kyla Stidham goes out. Brown has one more. Kylie Brown is a sophomore for Whitley. She missed them both. Reagan Walker with the rebound for the Hounds. Those are two big ones right there. 225. Let's see if Corbin tries. I don't know if Corbin. Some teams have, uh, have you know, where they can put it in the freezer, and some teams just better off going attacking the basket. Housley gets it. Anderson kicks it out to Reagan Walker. Reagan, patience, starts the drive. She's going to take it all the way. No. They're going to call it on Erica Angel. Oh. She was over. She was on the back side. I didn't realize she was putting pressure on her. I can't believe they didn't call no foul on Reagan went in for that. Yeah, Reagan was fouled. That's yeah, why she, she missed was the fouled shot. A couple times, actually. <laughs> yeah. At the free throw line for Whitley County as they are in the just, just the bonus is Taylor Rice, the senior. Ten points for her on tonight. Remember, it's a one and one. And sometimes you'll hear, you know, the home team gets some special calls. There's yeah. been no special, <laughs> no special calls. calls tonight. No special calls. Shot is missed. Whitley has missed their last three free throws. Ooh. <laughs> Bailey Stewart gives it to Housley. Housley to Erica Angel. Erica gets it back. Has the ball blocked. And timeout is called by Corbin. Timeout on the floor with our score. It's Corbin 52, Whitley County 42. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Be sure to listen to Corbin Lady Redhound Basketball on WCTT. Hometown Bank is proud of their name because Hometown Bank is proud of the hometowns they're in. In fact, their name is their mission, which is to take care of the communities in which they work and live. Hometown Bank is always here to help, so if you're buying a house, remodeling your kitchen, or need a home equity loan to combine other debt, come see Hometown Bank and find out how easy working with a Hometown Bank can be. Visit the Hometown Bank nearest you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to LU Gillen Gymnasium. You know, some some songs seems like they've been playing them for years. Absolutely, they have. <laughs> they're, they're playing, yeah. They're playing YMCA, and that is from when I was a little younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did they have music back then, Mr. Gus? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Back, you know, a few yeah, years then, when I was a, a little years. younger. I was a little younger. <laughs> the village people. Everybody, you know, and, and kids still like to, to spell it out. 
Oh, yeah. They let them spell it the Kids, way. Kids, I'll still like to spell it out. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> It'll be Corbin's ball underneath Corbin's basket. Anderson. Darcy will trigger it in for the Lady Hounds. Ooh. She, Bailey was open. Housley gets it. Dribbles. She backs up. Minute 45 to go. Bounces it to Bailey Stewart. Bailey. Bailey. Being guarded closely. Looks for help. Looks for help. Gets it out. Reagan Walker has it. Ooh. She gives it to Erica Angel. She gives it out. Bailey Stewart for a three. Oh. Go. But Reagan Walker with a rebound and put it in. Yes, puts it back in. How about that? Reagan that Walker is a rebounder. She didn't care if they were going to foul or not. She's going to make it that time. Yes. Whitley calls the play. Corbin on top by 12, 54-42. They try to toss it inside. Amazing Aubrey. Another basket. Awesome Aubrey. Awesome Aubrey. Was it awesome? I don't know. I Amazing. Have to ask awesome. Their parents what, I think it was what awesome, Aubrey. I think that's hey, what you said. She's only a seventh grader. Can you imagine yes. by the time she's a sophomore? By the time, yes. Can you imagine by the that's time she's a senior? Away. That's three years away. Can you imagine Seniors a five senior? Years old. Yes, that's going to be. She's. You yeah. can watch for her name. Yeah, watch for her name. Yes. I, I think Whitley County called timeout, but we're staying right here with it. Minute five to go. Would you take a shot? Unless it's uh, a good drive by either Anderson or Housley. No, I wouldn't. I would just try to try to milk it as long as you can. Milk that clock. Because Whitley can hit the threes. Yes, they They said can. down at uh, Whitley County, they got a 12-point lead early in the game because they were hitting three-pointers. So. Well, and actually right now, Gus, in your game, your defense is your game right now because that's what it's going to take is to keep Whitley out of the three-point shot. And you sure don't want to foul them because it's a double. Well, they're not in the double bonus yet, but it's you don't want to foul them and give them points when the clock's not moving. Right. Minute five to go. It will be Corbin's ball. Whitley will come with the full court press. Darcy Anderson will be the person that triggered inbounds. Reagan Walker and Callie Housley change spots. Callie's in front of the scorer's table. Referee letting, letting her know she can run the thing. That's uh, Stidham. Stidham tosses the long bomb to Anderson. She catches it. She's going to set it back up. Good play. Excellent throw. Yes. Wait a minute. Stidham's not in there, is she? Yes, she is. She's got it and she's fouled. Kyla has got such a strong arm. She does. She That's her throw. softball arm. That's her softball arm. She can throw that. Housley gives her a little, some point, some uh, encouragement. She goes to the backcourt. Kyle Stidham. Looking for her first point tonight for the senior. Shot is up. Oh, too hard. Everybody. <laughs> she missed it. The first one off the bench standing up, telling her it's okay with Erica Angel. Oh, yes. So you can do this. Yes. 54-44, 53 seconds, 51 seconds left. She is the mother hen. Here we go. Dribbles once. Stidham lets it go. That one looks good. Oh, it did oh, not go. Wow. Well, she put more arch on it, but it still wouldn't go. Whitley with the ball quickly. They can't take a lot of time. Ball deflected, stolen away. Anderson comes out of there with it for the Lady Hounds. Anderson. Left-hand dribble comes across the timeline. Now right-hand dribble. Now left-hand dribble. Now right-hand dribble. She's out here. Uh. <laughs> How many times are you going to do that? Well, let's try to, try to be specific. So. <laughs> she gives it off to Stewart. Bailey. Bailey starts to her right. She's being chased, and she's fouled. Now will be on number 13. And that is Collier. Collier and timeout on the floor with our score. It's Corbin 54, Whitley County 44. We'll be back in 30 seconds as you're listening to Corbin Lady Redhounds on WCTT. 
Our world has dramatically changed over the past couple of years. We've all had to adjust to these changing times. But one thing has not changed is the fact that the Hart family and Tri-County Cycle Sales is still serving southeastern Kentucky with the same quality products and service after the sale since 1968. Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Polaris are the biggest names in off-road adventure and still can be found at Tri-County Cycle Sales. For your next ATV or side-by-side, stop by the place where time has stood still. Tri-County Cycle Sales, located between Corbin and London on US 25 across from Kentucky Outdoorsman. Welcome back to LU Gillen Memorial Gymnasium. Most folks have uh, stayed right here with us in their seats. A couple of them are starting to get up and leave. Yeah. The old car warmed up a little bit. 54-44, Corbin by 10 with 22 seconds left. Bailey Stewart will go to the free throw line. And th this should be shooting the double bonus because that is the 10th team foul on Whitley County. All the rest of the Lady Hounds are out on the, in backcourt on the Whitley County side of the half court. Do not want a foul right here. Bailey dribbles, spins, lets it fly. Ugh, too short. Got a lot of rim. We've not done an excellent job on our free throws. Show one more coming to her. She lets this one go a little higher. Got it. So for Bailey Stewart, five points. For the sophomore, almost stolen away by Bailey Stewart. Cross courts it, I don't know who she threw it to. Foul is called on Whitley County's Collier. Back to the free throw line will be Bailey Stewart. 55-44, 15 seconds left. I, I would say this looks like the 18th win for the Lady Hounds. Looks like it. Spins the ball, lets it go. She kind of line drives it a little bit too. I'd like to see her get a little There's more. There's no arch. more arch. arch yeah, not enough end. arch. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't give the ball a chance to go in. Either hit it or not. At least, ugh, she misses the boat. Whitley with the ball. No foul needed. No, just they go inside. Clemens with it, knocked away from behind. Housley dribbles and loses it out of bounds. 2.9 seconds left. I'm glad she could do that with a laugh yeah. and a giggle. <laughs> It'll be Whitley's ball. No foul needed. No, no, uh, just play good defense. They, they finally get into Aubrey. Her shot is partially blocked. And that's, that's the end. Corbin has a chance to be the number one seed in the 50th district as they knock off Whitley County by a final score of 55 to 44. Right now, we'll be back in two minutes and we'll take a look at the final scoring. And just a few minutes, we'll get a talk with Coach Isaac Wilson. We'll be back in two minutes as you're listening to Corbin Lady Red House on WCTT. The magical season of fall is here with cooler temperatures and shorter days. And that means two things, hunting season and it's football time in the bluegrass. So before you plan your next hunting or fishing trip, stop by Southeastern Kentucky's number one hunting and fishing headquarters, Kentucky Outdoorsman. It's national buying power with the same family owned small town customer service to which you've become accustomed. Get equipped for your next outdoor adventure at Kentucky Outdoorsman, located on US Highway 25 between Corbin and London next to Tri-County Cycle Sales. I need three Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wraps. Adding Fritos. Order up. Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap. Dreaming about enjoying time on the lake but need a boat? Or planning a road trip but not sure which RV is right for you and your family? Wildcat RV and Marine can help. With our selection of Keystone and Crossroads RVs and Mercury Low Boats, we can get you in the great outdoors. We're a family-owned RV and Marine dealer with professionally trained sales and service departments. Our staff is committed to helping you find the perfect RV or boat and keep it on the road or in the water. Wildcat RV and Marine, just off I-75 in Corbin or online at wildcatrvandmarine.com. Chili's first because Chili's it's the star. Like the star of it. And then cheese is just there to be like, I'm going to lift you up. It would be nothing without the Fritos and the cheese. Mm -hmm. And cheese is like the hype man. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap. I got you. Yeah. If you're looking for a better night's sleep, Sammy's Furniture has the perfect mattress for you. 
Whether it's combining the support of an inner spring mattress with a comfort of memory foam with a Sealy Hybrid, or the all-night cooling of the new Tempur-Pedic Breeze, or the unparalleled design and craftsmanship of a Stearns & Foster, Sammy's Furniture is here to help you find a mattress that won't break your back or your budget. That's Sammy's Furniture and Sleep Shop, open seven days a week. Visit our store to find your perfect mattress today. Welcome back to L.U. Gillen Memorial Gymnasium. Gus Klaus along with Angel Help with the Corbin Lady Red Hounds that ran their record to 18 wins against only four defeats by defeating the Whitley County Lady Colonels who fall to thir or, uh, 12 and 13 by winning uh, Corbin did 55 to 44. So looking at your scoring for Whitley County, Marissa Douglas, the sophomore, had four. Kylie Brown had five. John Rice had four. Taylor Rice had 10. Aubrey Clemens led the way with 14, the seventh grader, and Caitlin Collier had seven. For the Cor Corbin Lady Redhounds, Darcy Anderson had six, Callie Housley had 25, Lauren Faulkner had one, Bailey Stewart had five, Shelby Stewart had four, Erica Angel, an excellent game with 11, and Reagan Walker with three. So, uh, Angel, uh, <laughs> it's a good old game if you like to be nervous. <laughs> wow. I did feel like I was back the parent again. But yeah. the, that was stressful. But yeah. it was good. Yeah. Willie County does a, does a good job of, you know, because Corbin, you know, has more talent. You know, but, but Willie County does, does a good job with the talent they have. Yes. And they make you play. They made us play tonight more what they wanted, you know. So, uh but uh, boy, Callie Housley and Erica Angel, super job. Erica Angel really stepped up. Yeah. Uh, Callie Housley, you could just see it from beginning to end, she, that determination tonight from her. So uh, Corbin will be back in action. The Lady Hounds play, I think, tomorrow night on the road at Harlan. And I believe that is Harlan City that, okay. they, that they play. And then uh, next week, I'm not sure if they play somewhere Monday or not. But Tuesday, they're going to be back home. Uh, it'll be our last regular season home game. We thought tonight was going to be our last regular season home game. And this was a rescheduled game. Mm -hmm. uh, but they'll be playing against uh, Knox Central. That should be a On dandy. Tuesday. Yeah, because Knox Central's got a very good girls team. So, yes. Uh, so that, that'll be a lot of fun. You know, we used to be in the same district. Can you imagine how big that district was at one time to get out of that district to make it to the region? Because yeah, Central really. was in it, Link Camp was in it, mm -hmm. Barberville was in it. You know that that was a very very big district. Of course, we didn't have we didn't have South Laurel at the time, but we had Williamsburg, we had Whitley. You know, that's yeah, there was a, a there was a, quite a few. I think teams. there was eight teams in it. Maybe maybe not, but I I believe that's right. So, uh, waiting on uh, Coach Wilson to uh, join us. We may have a few extra words for him, and, and if he doesn't come right away, we will we will. Uh, there oh, here he comes. comes. Here he comes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, was a, it was a tough game. It, you know, you you learn how to deal with, diver uh, d not diversity, but adversity, and uh, hang in there and, and and do what you need to do and, and win the game. Yes, so you do. A good, a good second half. Let's see. Not a lot of scoring. Second half we scored. We scored 26 the first half and 29 in the second half. So, really, we did. Yeah. We did just as well the second half. Whitley is 25 the first half and 19 the second half. So, uh, so coming up. But Angel, thank you very much. We'll yes, see you. I'll see you Tuesday. Next Tuesday. All right. So.